Loving God, may the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, for you are our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. The final phrase of that hymn was, Easter's work must still be done. And it is a thrill for me today to have in our midst Sister Kathleen Kelly, affectionately known as Katie Kelly, who has served at Holy Trinity School for many years as their leader and guide. And I wanted her to be here today so that we could celebrate with her the centennial of the school and its good work. And I, I've invited her to bring us words and greetings. Thank you, Reverend Warburton. Thank you, Reverend Jay, for the gracious and kind invitation. And all I can say is this is one congregation that makes a joyful noise unto the Lord, both singing and in your warm welcome to one another. I have very strong connections with this congregation through all of your active parishioners. The first time I was in this church was to witness the marriage vows of Steve and Pam Brakowski. Pam is our nurse, our, excuse me, is our secretary. Marilyn Perkowski, for many, many years, was our school nurse. And Kathy Filkins knows more about the financial status of Holy Trinity School than I will ever know or need to know because she is so, so diligent. I would like, my other connection is from the first bazaar that I attended, whenever I am around, I make sure that I am here for your bazaar, and I have to confess, it's the ham and pickle salad. <laughs> <laughs> we have been neighbors for a long time, and in reflecting, I was thinking how wonderful it is for me as a Catholic sister to be able to come to this congregation and feel that sense of freedom that we are all one, we are all about doing God's work, spreading his message. And for myself, I did not come in 1913. There are days that it feels that way. <laughs> I have been a principal for 20, I think 27 years. The interesting fact about administration at Holy Trinity is that in the past 45 years, there have only been three administrators, which is an incredible, um, I think, representation of how the Sisters of Mercy have felt about the community in Wallingford. When I was a kindergarten teacher and I was asked to think about administration, I kept saying, well, what am I gonna do? Go around singing six little ducks that I once knew. And they said it's the same skills that you need in kindergarten that you need as an administrator. <laughs> um, I don't know what that says about the people I work with. <laughs> it's worked, it is worked. But when I look back and think of the number of students that have come through Holy Trinity, who I've had the privilege of having their lives touch mine and hopefully my life touch theirs, that looking back when I was discerning the call, all of the Sisters of Mercy said, you have to go to Wallingford. The people are wonderful. And I have found that's such a true statement. Last year when we celebrated our 100 year anniversary in April, so many Sisters of Mercy came back who had served in the school to celebrate even though they had been not here for a good number of years. Um, they just felt the connection. Our mission is academic excellence and teaching of gospel values, respect for self, others, and the global community. Our missions are the same. When I hear of the social outreach that this parish does, 
certainly the global concern that you have for others is so very apparent. We do work to develop that within our students and hopefully as they mature, they too will be able to reach out on mission trips and um, just in general everyday helping other people. Reverend Warburton, I was very impressed with how much you know about the Sisters of Mercy. <laughs> that um, I've been a Sister of Mercy for 20, 37 years. I taught um, for a number of years before I entered the Sisters of Mercy, and it has been a very rich and rewarding experience for me. Um, I have learned so much about people and the, the trust that people put in me as, as a sister, not, not as a principal of a school. We are very proud this year to have in the class of 19, for, the class of 2014, it will be the 100th graduating class from Holy Trinity, and I, I know people are there, although we are the only Catholic school in Wallingford, that many Catholic schools throughout our nation have not been able to thrive economically. Thank God Holy Trinity School is on firm footing. We are a kindergarten through grade eight school. Um, although it is a Catholic school, we welcome all faiths. We have had Hindu, we have had Buddhist, we have had children who are Jewish, Christian, and children who have not been exposed to any faith experience. It is a full day kindergarten. So I, I, I promote the full day kindergarten. Don't know what the town is doing, but please at this point we are also doing our enrollment and we do fill up rather quickly. Dean, is there anything that you would like me to say? It's so amazing to uh, walk out on a, on a spring day and, and hear the kids playing on the playground and uh, I often think what a great responsibility it is to administer and manage a school, its faculty, its curriculum, what do you find to be the most nourishing thing that, that you do as the leader of the school? I think walk into kindergarten in first grade <laughs> and see the energy. Yeah. The other day I sat in on a reading group and the children were doing long and short vowels and they get very confused when they're first learning that. And the infinite patience of the teacher I said, Carol, I forgot how painstaking this is. And when, when children start to put things together, not just academically, but in terms of the life of the spirit, a couple of years ago we had a child in kindergarten who needed to go for an echocardiogram. And the doctor was very reassuring and explained what the process was going to be. It was not going to hurt. And when the little boy finished, he asked the doctor, did you see God in my heart? Oh. And to me, that is the greatest blessing. Eventually, they all learned to read and write and compute. But that kind of 